form a new army and we'll go out and join up with this group here. And I suppose a couple more dust bishops would fit into that as well. New dust bishop. There'll be a vanilla dust bishop with just the, well, we can either get the uh, long scepter or the mage wand. We don't need high initiative, so I'd rather the extra damage and health. Long scepter, and then just the tier 3 regular armor. Definitely sharp sense. And that's it. Um, this stuff. Uh, we could go and grab the high ground bonus. Let's equip that. High ground gets us plus 30% bonus provided by high ground. Alright, let's validate that. And we'll buy a few of those. So, some vanilla. Dust bishops. And we'll queue up another. Alright, that seems good. Another Instabot army. I'm starting to like the Broken Lords more now. All of this money. Awesome. One hundred and fifty-five dust from that city, three hundred and twenty-five from this city. Uh, we should probably go and buy ourselves a hero uh, to increase our dust production in Karandar. Uh, Zale is suggesting we make one unit with a scepter. So let's see, new. Oh, we might want to build out. Uh, a guardian and test that out. So let's worry about using uh, the scepter with exhaustion later. But uh, our unit here, Socoros, requires all manner of strategic resources here. So acceleration does what? Doubles the battle movement of target for three rounds. Mind control, 50% chance of mind control. Uh, for the target for two rounds when attacking Guardian Aura heals adjacent armies of an amount equal to 100% of their life. Solid. Solitary cannot be joined by other units in an army. Guardian nature immune to effects of winter and disease. Debuffs. Range attack of three. And then we've got Shared Wisdom, what does that do? Uh, plus one morale to adjacent units versus Intimidation Aura. Last 25% initiative for opponents or Glory or Death 3 or Free Counter. Free Counter is can counter once more uh, when attacked. All right, so we definitely need to buy these strategics to build out uh, this guy. We're going to need at least 20 um, uh, loose changes. Yes, that's fine. Uh, 20 glass steel and 20 aluminum, which means I'll want to change some of this stuff over. How much is that going to cost on the marketplace? Strategics, Imperial Coinage in six. All right, in six turns, we'll buy the required resources and test out one of these guardians. And I already have exhaustion on my dust bishops. All right, so we don't have to worry about that. Zeal is just, um, uh, well, first of all, let's actually see what exhaustion does. I'm not really too familiar with all of the uh, special abilities. Minus 30% defense for two rounds. Yeah, that's that's really good. All right, and so we've already been dealing that debuff. Excellent. Uh, 
And our other wild walker is going to attack us again. No, they're fleeing. They know when they've been beat. Uh, let's go and create a new army here. And chase him down if possible. Let's see, they're looping around. Let's bring this guy over to you here. Have him join the siege as well. Do a little more exploring. We've encountered the Nydia. Both are the siege. Bring this army in. We'll also look into um, purchasing a governor for our other city. So these guys still have some movement. Let's. Uh, do they still have movement? No, they're out of movement. Uh, are we still sieging the city down? We should be. Move back over here. The siege is still on. And these guys are all contributing. Minus 71. We should start breaking that down soon. And let's look at the heroes. Someone who gets us a nice gold bonus. Uh, those are uh, mercenaries. Um, a Broken Lord hero would be best because then he'd be able to use the um, uh, circlet. But we don't currently have any Broken Lord heroes to be purchased. Do any of these guys give us a gold boost? Science boosts. Alright, no gold boosts. Uh, dust efficiency. This guy wouldn't be bad, but we won't be able to use that quivering circlet, so I think maybe we'll try to wait until a Broken Lord's hero appears. We could get another hero to lead our armies, that wouldn't be bad. But I think we'll, we'll keep this as is for now. So Zale is really liking the chain moves. I'm not... What do you mean by chain moves? Okay, so most of the fortification points are gone. Ah, this has got to be one of the guardians. That guy is huge. Can I rotate the map? No. I want to see what his face looks like, but we'll fight him eventually. Uh, we can chase down these guys. see, what can I do with the hero? Uh, we'll walk him forward, check out these ruins. Mm, the Dish of Kanak. Lock 3 costs uh, Mantium to equip. We actually have enough to equip that. Uh, it's got some decent bonuses. What is my hero currently equipped with? We can toss that on him. Uh, once we Conquer this city, convert it to our own territory. Meanwhile, let's add these two guys to this army. And I guess we can leave these guys here. Alright, so that's enough for that. Are there any buildings that I should be rush buying? Uh, no. And we'll just slowly pump these units out. That'll all be fine. Uh, we can build out one of these glory to the empires. Maybe buy a few more citizens. Throw down a another burrow, perhaps. Alright, we've got the Zelophagic Plague, minus 
to production on terrain with forests. They've got four units within the city. Um, now that we've worn away all of their fortification points, we're just dealing damage to them directly uh, on their hit points. So since I'm not in a huge rush, we can let this uh, knock down some of their hit points. We'll seize them for another turn and then we'll attack next turn because we don't want to be here forever. We'll take down Hatto and then we'll start sieging down uh, Sotoltan. In fact, perhaps we should send these guys over to siege the other city. Alright, so Zale uh, really likes combining exhaustion, which reduces uh, the defense value on units with chain lightning. So uh, we could go and assimilate the Kenzanji and then see what the chain exhaustion combo does for us. All right, let's do that. We do have the influence to spare. Meanwhile, these guys can siege down the Wild Walker capital. And they'll go and attack us. This is less ideal. Um, because our reinforcements are going to trickle in um, and not exactly in the way that we want them to. So he will have his militia weakened warrior. Well, let's retreat. Well, we don't won't bring those guys in and we'll just retreat these guys. Uh, we could heal them up, and that'll have to be next turn. They're still sieging though, so that works. End turn, heal all at the beginning of next turn. Okay, so they're attacking us again here. Uh, no reinforcement. And... You can't retreat. Okay, so you can't... I guess the whole reason they uh, introduced this action point system is uh, in the past you could get uh, infinite blockades off as the Broken Lords. Basically, you would heal, retreat, heal, retreat, heal, retreat, and um, unless they had multiple armies to attack you with, you would be able to do that indefinitely. So that's, that's why um, they introduced this semi-annoying action point system uh, for the Broken Lords. Um, so that means that these guys will have to fight. And as for where I want to place these guys, let's drop them in the forest, say over here. And we have no reinforcements coming, that's fine. Let's see if we can just wait here. And uh, if we can survive the turns. This guy should try to retreat into the corner. Likewise with these guys. All right, well, we'll go back for morale purposes then. Or not, we'll be split up. Ooh, we quite easily killed that uh, mercenary though.
And we would have done even better had I kept these guys beside each other. They would have their morale boost uh, for adjacency. That's a plus 15% to both of them. Okay, are we going to manage to survive this encounter? Seems unlikely. But uh, trading two units for one while sieging down his capital city seems like a reasonable trade. Alright, so now it seems like it's time to attack uh, the city here. It's out of defenders, we've totally killed them uh, by sieging them out this long. Let's go and attack. And um, I don't want to risk losing anyone in an auto. They don't have any reinforcements coming. All the stalwarts on the front row here, and then back them up with the dust bishops. Like so, and um, everyone should be on. Well, aggression should be fine. Alright, and that was nicely done. Dismiss that. We'll have these guys uh, heal up if possible. Uh, they've already expended their action points. Okay, so the city here, what did we get? We've got a whole pile of nice buildings. And what about that wonder? What does that wonder do for us? Does it show up on this list? Doesn't seem to show up on the list. What if we mouse over this thing right here? Is it only the original builder that gets the benefit of the wonder? Approval per level um, when happy. All right, let's go and activate the wine or dies rather. Still not happy. Let's. Do we have um, sewer systems in all of our cities? Yes, we do. And do we have some other way of getting our happiness up? Uh, do we have bread and circuses? No, we don't. So, uh, maybe we can cut back on the dust and go into science for a little while. Try to speed that along. We can get the benefits from this um, legendary building. Meanwhile, let's go to work on the Empire Mint. And do I want to go for dust here or science? Let's go for science for now. Try to speed through bread and circuses. Meanwhile, our hero, let's see how he fares with uh, the new item that we just picked up. So there's the quest shield here. It would mean abandoning the claymore, which I don't really want to do because I can't get that palladium back. So 83 versus, say if I switched over to using the sword. The 
Claymore has me at 184 attack, 114 damage. Uh, much higher defense value, lower attack value. If I were to pair that, where are my one-handed swords? Um, that I actually have the strategic resources to yield. 103 and 98. No, I'd rather just use the claymore here. So close that. Lose changes. Yes, I definitely want to lose those changes. Keep on using the claymore, please. Um, and everything else is fine. Okay, Bread and Circuses, with everyone working science, has us moving that in three turns. We failed a quick lesson in history here, uh, so no free advanced harvesters for us. Meanwhile, uh, there's an army headed over this way, potentially trying to make trouble for us here. Uh, looks like we're going to need to rush by a few units. and then swing back around with these guys. We only have four movement here. The Dust Bishops have four movement. Uh, we might want to have a look at that. So Dust Bishop 2, if I go look at that profile, I can give them extra movement. That would be really useful. So add the improved movement, apply that, we'll upgrade Retrofit these guys. So now we've got eight movement, and we're going to be able to chase these guys down. Um, whereas these guys are going to be a little slower. Only four movement on the vanilla guys. Uh, Vanilla. All right, they're all four movement here. That's fine. We'll have those guys uh, lagging behind. We we'll want to move these guys in position to attack that army before it makes too much trouble for us, and we will move into range as backup. All right, hold position, ready, fight. And we can definitely have these guys set up within our base. So stalwarts, deployment. This guy wants to be over here. These guys are happy here. Dust bishop over like that. Um, stalwart, stalwart, hero. Dust bishop, dust bishop. Where is the other dust bishop? Um, no really, where are my other units? I only see one, two, three, four, five. Oh, they're down, way down here. Okay, well, they definitely want to be over at the front lines. They were camouflaged in with the blue tiles. Uh, so this seems like a fine setup. Maybe drop that guy over here. This should be good. All right, ready? Stalwarts want to advance, as do the Dust Bishops. And we did unlock the Imperial Coinage, so we have access to the Marketplace. So let's try to build out one of those guardians. Got here some more 
of these guys. We'll set this guy to aggressive and uh, sure this Dusk Bishop can be aggressive as well. So as for new stuff from the expansion, uh, this game we made really good use of completing the quest where uh, the first player to get 4,000 or accumulate a stockpile of 4,000 dust gets uh, 200 palladium or was it adamantium? One of those strategic resources and we use that to um, get up a powerful army earlier than we normally would have been able to. And uh, with that army, we've had a fairly easy time taking care of the wild worker units with a line of um, line of our stalwarts guarding our dust bishops who go and heal the stalwarts. Alright, we can switch everyone over to aggro now. At least a few of them, that should be enough. Excellent. One more army cleared and some more experience for our units and hero. We took down an enemy hero as well. And a little experience for the militia, which I guess is good. Meanwhile, our hero here, another reinforcement slot is actually useful for us now that we've got uh, two large armies. And let's go and try to attack that guardian we saw. And we'll also go get ourselves set up for building a guardian of our own. So over at the marketplace, if I wanted to buy some titanium, that would be pretty cheap. Let's see. Let's buy, uh, we can only buy 10 of it, so we'll buy that. Uh, the price goes up, buy another 10, and another 10. That should be enough to play with. Let's buy some glass still too. Okay, so let's see about this Titan. Um, what kind of weapon do I want him to yield? Increased fire does what? 3% attack on target uh, friendly unit. So this is a positive buff that uh, probably needs to be actively applied. Heal, healing our own units, that makes sense. Shared wisdom uh, is morale. So boosting our dust bishops sounds really nice. And this guy is a ranged unit, so he would hang back with the dust bishops. The free counter I don't think will be necessary. Shared Wisdom could be super powerful here. Um, hmm. Scepter of Survival, Increased Fire. I think the Shared Wisdom is what we want. So that's just going to be a little glass steel. Not nearly as expensive. And then as for our other item, Intimidation Aura, I don't think we need that. We don't need the free counter. 
but which of these items do I want to use? Increased fire, acceleration, acceleration doubles the battle movement of target for three rounds. Don't think we need that either. Increased fire seems the most relevant, although heal could be really useful in a pinch. All right, let's take heal, which means that I also I'm going to need more glass steel. Um, so let's apply that to this guy. Do I want the Intimidation Aura? The Free Counter sounds useful if our lines get broken. Intimidation Aura is um, also relevant when our lines get broken. Well, how much is Palladian going to cost us? Let's keep it like this for now. Have a look at the marketplace. We want to buy a little more glass steel. Buy that. That's enough now. And for Palladian, Palladian's not that expensive. Okay, so let's go and equip the free counter. We'll apply that and start production on our first guardian. That's exciting. Oh, and we have to build them out uh, as a actual tile improvement. That's pretty cool. Right, let's build them right on the road there. Um, oh, wow. Look how much that's going to cost. That's going to take a long time. Uh, what if we were to switch over to production? 28 turns still. That's quite the epic cost. I, I don't think it really makes sense to do that, but we are trying to get some experience with the new units in the expansion. A little approaching slash sitting Buddha. Um, Alright, we'll build him out, just because he's new. A message. The Wild Walkers, they are exhausted. Uh, we'll take their capital. Level 7 of oh, the marquee here. Let's see. Plus 2, city fortification point loss, return on units. That's not really helpful if we're going to be governing, but uh, it does get us over to the plus 15% dust, which I do want to unlock. We'll go and grab that. Here's the Titan. Do I want to try fighting the Titan right now? I would. Can these two squads take on a Titan? Uh, let's let them come to us, because then we'll have the fortification points. We'll just spend some gold or dust here healing up all of our units. Um, or do I want to move over here and start sieging down their capital? Let's actually do that. And we'll park ourselves in the city. Do I need some more units for defense? This is going to cost us 6,000 dust. Wouldn't it be faster if we just um, put these guys on dust? That gets us an extra 100 per turn, whereas... Um, so, 100 per turn, uh, that's... If we were working it by dust, it would take us 50 turns, whereas working production shaves off um, 70 minus 25, 40 uh, 
or 30, 40 turns ish. So I think it's still cheaper uh, to work production for now. Oh, I'm getting tired. Um, so we'll probably end the stream um, in a couple turns. And we almost have bread and circuses, then I'll switch these guys back over to uh, dust production. Let's see, uh, we can go and train out. Um, a right of way would be really good here. And over in this city, let's do we have a right of way already? We do, which means we should have uh, some income from trade routes, which we do. That's excellent. Um, do I have the production boost for buildings? If I do, then I'll leave that on the road boost here. Simulate uh, building reduction in production cost. Yeah, we'll keep that going then. And that'll be that turn. Alright, what's this Guardian going to do? Is he going to head for its R capital or is he going to try to retake uh, some of his ill-gotten cities? He's heading towards our capital or somewhere. Where is this guy wandering off to? We should probably chase him down. Okay, fine. Let's go and attack this army. We'll siege down this city later. And an attack. Uh, so we may as well bring everyone in. That'll let uh, our governing hero gain some experience as well. Although we don't need the militia from here. And the guardian is not within range to join this attack. So this should be good. Um, we'll put that on hold position just in case. We don't need people running forward chaotically. Okay, so stalwart, stalwart, hero, and then we'll drop these guys in the back row here. And then we've got four reinforcement flags, so we'll get the rest of the army in rather rapidly. That's a, that's a pretty good hero perk. Alright, and as for these guys, let's move forward. A bunch. So some damage on this Dust Bishop. Uh, he does have full uh, maximum he can gain from uh, morale though, so that's surrounded by three units plus within a, uh, a friendly city tile. Almost back to full health, that's excellent. And then with one more Dust Bishop drain, even closer to full health there, excellent. So I'll, these dust bishops are fantastic. I don't think I've ever used them so effectively before. So we've got this guy who wants to join the uh, the fray. Everyone else will run forward, and just out of battle range is the Wild Walker Guardian.
All right, so um, after this battle is where we'll end the stream. I'm going to be streaming, uh, continuing this playthrough again tomorrow. Uh, I think I'll start streaming around 9 a.m. Eastern Time. 